Today I'm going to be doing some speed picking. I'm going to be picking the Master Lock DG. Uh, it's got some other number reference, but I think most people know of it as the DG or the US set. Uh, also gets called the Rodeo Core, or is it's probably the first lock to have been described as having a Rodeo Core, which you can see there, very floppy, which is, yeah, just poorly designed lock, but also turns out to be an accidental security feature. So maybe Master Lock was onto something with that. Because this flops around so much, it is quite annoying to pick. Um, Down Under Monkey gave me this lock many months ago. I don't even remember when. He likes to hand them out to Aussie pickers so he can see them suffer trying to pick the floppy core. And today was the first time I picked it, mainly because I got it and they went, no, nah, I can't be bothered. This is too annoying. I'll deal with that some other day. And now that I'm trying to speed pick it, I... Yeah, had to actually get around to picking it, so that was pretty fun. Um, yep, so I'm going to be entering this into the first locker quarter of 2023. Last year, there was a specific lock for each quarter. This year, there is, well, at least for the first quarter, the rules are any, um, what do you call it? Any lock that has at least one, but no more than three times on speed locks. So at the time of filming, the only other person to have picked this and submitted it to speed locks was Gilly Gaines, and his time was about 32 seconds. So I reckon I can do it faster than that. So I'm gonna give it a go. And if you think you can do it faster than me and you've got one of these, also should enter it into speed picks because if I pick it and Gilly's picked it, that's only two. So there's still um, there's still two more people that could have a go and get entered into the draw to win. I think it's a t-shirt, so that should be fun. Anyway, let's see if I can pick it faster than Gilly.